have my Lele Pons, Iguaina, and I'm really excited because we are coming down to the end of 2020, and you guys know it is almost the end of 2020. Making these videos has made me realize how good of a feeling it's about to be, but I'm excited for this song because when Guayna re or sings Sete Nota with his voice, it's a banger. It's a banger, guys. Um, but now we're just gonna look at more of the production and give it a nice reaction. And then at the end, we're gonna be rating it. So make sure you stay until Thank you. Hey everybody, this is Voice Over Mars here. You may remember me from my Halloween special where I did a whole bunch of Halloween Zodiac looks and I walked you through it afterwards. It was a bit of a relaxing ASMR experience and it wasn't usually what I do for my music video reactions. But unfortunately, this specific part that I've recorded, the voice did not go through. And so, uh, it's okay. At the end of the day, it still got recorded. We're still doing the thing out here. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through what I can really remember about my reaction. Um, but here we provide both kind of experiences. So here we have Lele on the top of this boat and she's bringing a lot of vibes she's bringing some money vibes she's bringing some boss vibes she's out front of her yacht she's alone um she has this kind of wrap on her head that speaks money a nice monokini to monokini that is black to um exude class if you will and so they're setting up the scene here So, we have a different scene here with Lele. She has this black and white. She has these gloves. A nice tall pony. Tall blonde pony. A makeup look. And some balloons in the background. Now, I do recall when I was doing my reaction, kind of wondering why there was so many balloons in the background. You know, because when I think of balloons... And especially with a dark scene around it, almost like a warehouse or garage around it, or just this like dark lighting, it might be like an entrance to a gymnasium for like a homecoming. That's just my recollection. And so I think that there should have been a little bit more due diligence on what balloons can project to an audience and how people associate things so i'm interested like what do you associate these balloons to like do you just see it as a set do you um re recall a moment like to me it just reminds me of homecoming that's when i see arches like this so it's interesting i like that it's a spiral i like that it's trying to give some dimension and that there's almost a bit of a portal behind her there's a lot of camera movement um i don't think they messed up there as far as the camera movement but it's just the association i do also remember um talking a lot about her gloves the fact that they're, that they're black and white and not mix matching is kind of fun and so this is where in the video they're starting to bring in Guayna and when he pops up behind her um, and they brought a bit of humor I did kind of like that in a music video especially for Lele because she's always had so much humor on her instagram that that is a part of her like yeah she could do the music pop star thing but she also does this hey i'm relatable no makeup today i'm just having fun with my friends 
so that she brought this kind of humor into the video very nicely put very on brand and then they're having these sweet moments well not sweet but just kind of funny that he's into her he's finding her other places slightly stalkerish but uh yeah she's just like who is this guy um why is this happening and i think as women we could totally relate to just having these moments where we're like what is going on <laughs> um you know <laughs> uh how do i explain it what we have these moments as women where we're just giving weird vibes we're just getting the weird vibes and so the fact that she's very awkward about it and she's like i got to go i mean he did seem sweet and not so stalkerish he's got the dog and he's just admiring her now we have this scene where she's like doing an exercise class and he shows up and the fact that he has some high waters ready for a flood you see his ankle socks you just start to get that he's portraying being kind of this nerdy guy and this is just being projected by his outfit so this is why i tried to pay attention to all of the different choices because everything matters when it comes to a music video didn't really understand Lele for a long time and then her I believe documentary biography kind of came out and I learned a little bit more about her and then so I got to see that lens that she provided and you know when I see her Instagram and she's working out it's interesting that they made the choice to be like okay hey you're really into this let's bring it into the video as well so they're really trying to whoever her team is is to cater to what's going on in her life and her interests and that's her overall persona as well this hip thrust though i remember being like dang he really comfortable <laughs> So you've made it to the end of the video and here this end of 2020 Fridays we are doing music video reaction but rating. Rating on three criteria. So we're rating on the creativity of the music video. Was it mind blowing? Was it just there's so many like editing elements and things of that nature. Then we're also rating rating the um, evolution of the artists themselves. Um, you, suddenly does it seem like we're seeing a different version of who they are. And then third we are um, rating the binginess of the song. Am I going to purposefully Google the song to hear it again? So, the emoji I chose for this one is the yas. Um, you know, when does anyone ever get to use the yas? Um, comment down below if you know it's a good time to use the yas emoji because other than this, never have. <laughs> um, so, the first one, the creativity. Um, the spiral balloons, that is the first time I've seen that. Um... But there wasn't like feeling like I was in a different world. There wasn't necessarily like a storyline. It was just more of a repetitive um, song, which is fine. Um, so wasn't the most creative. Doesn't mean I don't love the song. Doesn't mean I don't love the artist. But it just wasn't like something I'd give the five to. Um, if you go and watch a couple of my other videos and see the ratings afterwards, you'll see why I did give them a higher rating for their creativity. Um, but for this one, I only give it one yacht out of five. Um, as far as the evolution of the artist, so why not? This is my first exposure to him. Um, I'm curious by him now because I really do like his voice. 
um, but I also like the fact that he seems like a regular guy. I haircut, but he's not so like, I'm an artist, let me perform, or I don't know, he just seems very relatable and regular, and I like that, but his voice is not regular. So I can't really rate him, it's just not applicable to rate him on an evolution because I haven't seen other works. Now, um, as far as Lele, I feel like she's been this consistent figure. Um, uh, someone that's very attractive and model-like and I feel like they definitely show that, um, you know, in her stances and um that she's a very pretty girl i think they very like the image that she was giving off throughout the video i've seen before of her so it's not like a new lele um i think i'd be so interested in seeing a different lele but that's whenever um she wants and sometimes it's not necessarily important or um it's not necessarily something the artist can do because when you're being an artist you have to have exactly what you're styling sometimes and to stray too much of that can be dangerous so um however i think her following is big enough for her to do whatever the heck she wants that's just me um but i won't say i see a different version of her so unfortunately i just give her one yacht that doesn't make her because it is fantastic she's beautiful she's sensual and there's no reason to like peek and stay there okay because it's nice at the top and if you brought your resources you're fine there okay now done for my little tangent um the last thing is the binginess of the song of, of course i get five dots i mean so it, it's stuck in my head um therefore it is bingy and I have already purposefully gone and googled this song specifically and that to me is when something is binging. So thank you so much for watching. Hope that we make it through the holidays steady and that more of us are doing okay. Um, that we do better and better as the years go on for humanity, for earth. And yeah, love you guys. Have a happy new year.